Floods continue to wreak havoc across parts of China and uh, several provinces continue to reel under torrential rainfall. The floods have taken a toll on China as 356,000 people have been evacuated now from their homes. The floods have caused direct economic losses of about $93 million with 4 million hectares of farmland being damaged. Heavy rains also hit many cities in eastern China. 65 towns and villages of 11 counties in the province saw more than 50 millimeters of rainfall. Seven monitoring sites in one of the cities saw more than 100 millimeters of rainfall, the highest daily rainfall in the city's history. The rainstorm flooded many streets in the downtown area. Some vehicles were stranded, damaged as well as the floods submerged many underground garages. Rescuers were also seen evacuating people as flash floods trapped more than 285 people in parts of central China. A school bus carrying children was also trapped in water as rains battered the area. Flooding and landslides from heavy rainfall inflicting extensive damage all around China as the rains continue in several parts. More than 78 people have been killed across Nepal as torrential rainfall causes landslides and floods in several parts as well. Heavy rains have triggered flash floods uh, and uh, 10,000 people have been displaced. As the rains continue, more than 40,000 soldiers and police personnel using helicopters and roads uh, to, uh, and uh, also several emergency measures to rush food, tents and medicinal supplies to the people affected by the flooding. About 133 people were rescued as uh, rains are eroding the embankments, putting settlements at a high risk. Transportation has also been disrupted uh, across uh, uh, major highways. According to police reports, more than 30 people are still missing and at least 33 have been injured as the death toll rises. Nearly 150 people died last year in Nepal during the rainy season, which typically begins in late June and lasts until the end of August.